It's March 31st. I'm Brooke Moore. Today's exclusive DX Daily. Royce to 59 stopped by the DX headquarters to sit down with the OG Steve LaBelle. Check it out. Royce also gives us insight into Slaughterhouse and the challenges to being in a group. Not friends. We didn't know each other. Just fans of each other. Just admirers of each other's work. You know, so um, when we started it out, it was like this special situation where we were all coming together to just kind of save hip hop from the underground perspective and just build from the internet. And we, the, the idea was just to do maybe a song here, a song there. And we ended up signing Shady Records. We look up and we just sign, you know what I'm saying? Time to move. And it goes back to what we were talking about, major label versus independent. You can't really move as quickly on a major as you can independent. And um, Slaughterhouse, in my opinion, is a very time sensitive brand. He also pays a compliment to Jay-Z, saying working with Jay-Z is on my bucket list. Jay-Z has this, um, he has this mystique about him, where it's like he'll kind of jump on the record once it reaches a certain level. You know, so I always thought to myself, I see Jay-Z, we've had conversations, I know his respect there, we've had conversations about each other's ability, but I wonder would he jump on a record with me. Check out the full interview on the site right now. In another exclusive, the legend Damon Dash chops it up with DJ Nels and DJ Prophet in a very entertaining interview. Check it out. Ten years ago, I was only known for Rockefeller. Regardless of what I did, whether I did fashion or made movies and put whatever who on, whatever, I'm known for Rockefeller. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I almost had to live a Rockefeller life to become Rockefeller. Like before there was Rockefeller, I was in the street for like six, seven years hard. Yeah. And then that's what I appealed to. So the new brand that I had to build, I had to live it. So for seven years, I had to do things a completely different way. So I had to kick corporate all together, which is what I wanted to do, and then aggregate all kind of new kinds of talent from all over the world. And they had to be thinking and like-minded. And I was giving them a platform and showcasing that it could be done so that the rest of the world would do it. Like I was doing webisodes in 2009 with right. Black Rock when I was right. putting RZA I remember that. And, yep. and Most Def with the yep. Black Keys. You know what I'm saying? Before they even you know was on television. Right. It was just to cultivate, because it was like I saw the future, but everyone else kind of had to catch up. Make sure you check out the full interviews right now that are up on the site, and let us know your thoughts. I'm Brooke Moore, and that's your DX Daily for the day. For more music and news, visit hiphopdx.com.